Dreamcatcher! Dreamcatcher! <laughs> <laughs> this may be a little bit difficult to synchronize. Yeah, we're we're doing the React session via Discord. Staying safe. So, hello everyone. My name is Umu. I am here. I am here to but quietly because it's currently midnight. Yep. I play French horn, I run this channel, and this is... Sean, I am the arranger on the channel, and host classical composer breaks down the K. Yes, uh, who wants to do a cut down? Uh, you. Sure, okay. Okay. Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Sorry, you keep laughing as I'm starting to count. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Very atmospheric. Huh. I'm already getting chills. Hmm. Ooh. The intro is really interesting with the like, very pitch drifty voice chops. So many percussive triplet hits. Oh my god! Nice. Nice little Phrygian. Of course, four on the floor taking up the energy. Always does the trick. Man, this is the oh. course we've heard from previews. And then bring you back down? Yeah. Hey, hey? Complete texture change. Using some of the same percussion. Depth, depth syncopation. Ayy. That was a fairly short dummy rap. I wonder if they're gonna build on right. the bridge. Also, no Gahyeon rap. Damn, we have an octave up on the pickup to the chorus. Octave up. They continue to show off their insane vocal ranges. I like how the guitar kind of answers the vocal melody. Da 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 yeah. da 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 And then sometimes they're in unison. Okay, Tommy. Was that Tommy? Yes, I stand hand on getting the bridge. Are we gonna get a dance break or are we going straight into the chorus again? Longer of a delay. Transition sections are quite quick. Yeah. What? Three twenty? Yo, that went huh. by so quickly. Yeah, that really felt. Like, I'm wondering, where was the link? I think it might have been the intro. Oh, well, also, no, oh. in this music video, it has the Yuhyun intro of no music. So oh, maybe yeah, this, wait, that's wait, true. Wait. Let me go to iTunes yeah. real quick and buy the song. I did not, I was not able to catch the lyrics at all. Um, yeah, but this, this trilogy is so important to me as, I mean, everyone experiences their own sort of bully or uh, critic throughout their life and the more popular this channel grows, the more people who absolutely hate what we're doing 
their messages do come my way. And so this trilogy and Dreamcatcher's messages um, in each song has really hit home for me. So I'm gonna try and pay attention more to the lyrics, but there's also so much layering that I missed. Mm, it's, there's, there's, there's quite a bit to unpack here. Okay, it's just three minutes long on okay. iTunes. So yeah, I guess it is pretty short then. Interesting, that intro of this song was great. Perhaps one of my yeah. favorite Dreamcatcher startings because all these sounds, I don't know. It's stuff that I haven't heard too often, um, like different yeah. samples used and rhythms used in more glitchy, ear-catching ways. Yeah, I thought the chorus is more like standard Dreamcatcher, I feel like, but it's pretty heavily on the electronic side. Out, well, the electronic, but not like electric guitar side outside of the chorus. Like, this seems to have much more of a futuristic concept than normal for Dreamcatcher, which is often either sort of old or modern day, but not future. So more electronic music tends to be associated with that. When your eyes get splendid here, everyone hoped that after shedding countless stars, a new world would be... <laughs> Wait, that's kind of along the lines of my favorite song of 2020 called uh, New World. <laughs> talking, it's literally New World is talking about running away from fears and negative feelings into a new world. <laughs> this is like a reply to that song. No more utopia, because you're looking for utopia, but in reality, there isn't one. Struggling with meaningless, oh, Dami's verse hits hard. Whoa. The lyrics hit as hard as the song does. And also I love how the beginning, the chair is a mask. Everyone's hiding behind oh, a is? mask, eh? Mm. Wait, the chair? See, it's the eye and the nose. Oh, I hadn't realized that. Okay, I see. Okay. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Everyone's sitting behind a mask watching television. Interesting. Oh, that's an eye. Eyeball. Love the descending. Oh, I just realized the, the, the choreography having stuff moving around the eyes kind of ties back to the uh, devil eyes come. And the bass kind of sounds like a drawn out low piano note. Four on the floor always does it. Little. Oh, there's a little guitar playing the same notes as the pickup to the chorus. The guitars lift as well when they sing higher. Nice production there to transition to this section. So much attitude. Hmm. Maybe some sort of poison. Oh, I love the guitar where that goes subdivide. <laughs> I like how much it's just the voices here and just like light texture, no bass. Interesting, little white noise layered in with the wood block ass sound. Yeah.
Yeah, call and answer with the desk ant. Harmonizing with the original melody. And the dream catcher current. Damn. I think this is a really solid ending to the trilogy. If you're comparing like the musical journey that you go on, if you listen each song back to back to back, this one is very loud, proud, and strong. I, I like it as a song. I'm not sure I'm feeling it as a finale. I mean, in this case, with the Dreamcatchers couldn't find the Utopia. Like, this would is obviously not a positive conclusion. Obviously, that's one way that people, sometimes conclusions get spun, is like, there's sort of a transcendence into something. I, if this is the end, I kind of wish it would get like more dark and severe. Like going into Phrygian would be True. making it darker, but also I feel like could just do it tamberly, like just get really, um, like give it a harder, darker edge. I definitely do prefer uh, screams and Boca's vocal melodies over the the top lining in this one, but I really love the instrumental in this one. There's so many layers and so many effects that Lees and O'Lounder really explored with this one. There's one last thing that I want to jump into, which is a strange detail that popped out to me. 144. It's just, ooh, and then a leap and then climb down the scale. But Handong is, or someone in Dreamcatcher has definitely, ooh, has sung that before. A few moments later. It's the same rhythm, that's why I think. Oh, that's from some Dreamcatcher something. Not holding this pain. It's actually like, ooh, ooh, ooh. We are going to find this. They do a lot of ooh, 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 ooh. They do a lot of like ascending scales on ooze. Okay, uh, in Chase Me, there. <laughs> it's not the, not same, the same thing, but there is. Da, 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 da. So I guess just a recurring motif is leap and then climb down a scale in Dreamcatcher music. More moments later. Oh my god, they have lots of. They even have um, in Into the Frozen, they have. Ooh, ooh, Lots of ooing scales in Dreamcatcher music. Much later. Even in Silent Night, they have. <laughs> much, much later. <laughs> much, much, much later. If you want, we can end now and then I just go on this <laughs> insane search on my own because <laughs> I don't know how long it'll take. So I will continue the long goose hunt for this. While Sean sleeps, and we're gonna say goodbye for now. <laughs> or not sleeps. <laughs> Bye. Later that same evening. <laughs> what? 42 seconds in. Ooh, and it is hands on. Hey! Sorry guys, sometimes when I listen to music, my relative pitch bangs at the door unwelcomed and when I hear a motif that I've heard somewhere else, whether it's in the same key or not, just using the same melody but in a different key, I just can't get it out of my mind. I can't get you out of my mind. We found it. Okay, take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye-bye.